Hi guys, this is Ash here and this is the fourth and final part of my review of the Galaxy S3. So guys, uh, in case you've not watched the first three parts, I highly recommend that you watch them. The links to the first three parts are in the description and the link to the first part is also annotated onto the video. So click on it, go ahead, check it out and uh, let's take it from there. You know, the Galaxy S3 uh, has a tagline uh, as, you know, being made for humans. Uh, so there are some features, uh, there are a lot of motion controls and uh, a few smart features here. Let's look up, let's look into it right now. And uh, let's quickly go into uh, display. And over here you have this option called Smart Stay. Uh, this feature works, you know, about 80% of the time and it's very dependent on the lighting that you are in. It actually checks uh, whether you're looking at the screen. So in case your eyes are not detected, it automatically dims the screen and if you're actually looking at the screen, uh, irrespective of the screen timeout that's been set, if you're looking at the screen, the screen does not turn off. So that's again, uh, as of now, it's a little gimmicky because it's just been implemented with future updates it should it should get more and more functional so uh you know here's to hoping that it gets more functional in the future so uh going into the motion controls so the first thing here is direct call so how this works is uh you know uh you're actually messaging somebody or you have a person's contact open uh you just pick up the phone and put it here yeah and you actually end up calling them so again, you know, you're texting somebody and you just want to call them. You don't have to go back and swipe right, swipe right on the messaging to actually call them. You just pick up the phone and it calls them. And then you have Smart Alert. And uh, with Smart Alert, how it works is, uh, you know, when you pick up your device, you will be notified with a vibration uh, if you have any missed calls or messages. So, uh, you know, the phone is on the desk right now. So, uh, so the screen is off right now. So when you pick up the phone, there is a small vibration over here. That means there is some notification message or call that's been missed. So say for example, you put your phone on charge, you're out of the room, your screen turns off, you come back later, you just pick up your phone and before you, uh, you know, leave, you will, I mean, once you pick up the phone, you will notice the, uh, vibration over there, meaning you've, you have a mess, unread message or, a call that's been missed so it's a pretty handy feature to have and the next one is tap to top again this feature hasn't been isn't universally implemented so uh, it works at certain places it doesn't work at certain places but as of but it is still a decent feature as in uh, you know let me show you so you're in the contacts somewhere below you just want to go to the top all you need to do is okay let me just zoom out a bit here okay just tap on top and you're up uh, up to the top of the list. So again, just to show you. So that's tap to top. And then you have tilt to zoom and this feature has been there, you know, even in the previous versions of TouchWiz. Uh, like you're in the gallery, you just put two fingers, you know, put two thumbs and then you just tilt in and you zoom in, tilt out to zoom out. But then again, you know, you're probably using the phone with one hand. It's easier to do this than to actually bring your next hand in and do this but it's still a decent gimmick to have uh, again over here for tilt to zoom you can you can adjust the sensitivity settings as well and test it then and there you know make it faster and so on so let's leave it over here okay I'm going back and then we have pan to move icon Again, this is a feature that was found in the Galaxy Note, uh, you know, touch with 4.0 uh, itself. You just hold, tap and hold an icon on the home, home screen and you just tilt the phone to move to the next home screen and uh, that's pretty much it. Again, you have the sensitivity settings that you can adjust. And this is new, the pan to browse images. And how it works is uh, you just when you're zoomed in, you just hold it. I mean, you just hold it with a finger, and then you just move the phone around, and you and uh, the picture moves uh, along with it. So it's uh, again pretty decent. Again, you have a, you have the sensitivity settings for it, and then you have shake to update. 
when you shake your device you know you scan for bluetooth keys or keys are devices and more so uh, you know all you need to do is just shake your device and it goes ahead and did a checks for bluetooth devices in the vicinity so uh, it's more of a gimmick at this point but still pretty decent okay and then we have turn over to mute or pause so uh, with this on you know when you okay let me just set it for vibrate only so the phone is vibrating right now okay and you just turn the phone over and the vibration stops and if the ringtone was if it was ringing the ringing would stop too uh, and then we have palm swipe to capture wherein you know you just put your palm over here and just swipe it across and a screenshot gets taken and you can just access the screenshot right from the notifications and uh, then you have palm touch to mute or pause let me just show you that in a minute here let me open up the music player okay first off turn the phone over and it pauses okay next you just and it pauses so uh, that's pretty much it guys and guys the phone also has uh, pretty fast boot times one of the best that I've ever seen so uh, let me quickly uh, reboot the phone over here to show you how fast the phone actually boots up so uh, I'm gonna have the one X over here and use uh, what do you say use it to time the reboot so uh, let's hit restart and uh, OK and start at the same time so that's about 31 set 32 seconds for a complete reboot and that's really really fast guys uh, okay so let's go ahead and uh, quickly run a couple of benchmarks over here. Uh, just a nice little grid. Let's run the quadrant quadrant standard first. Let me just uh, leave it as it is. Okay, run a full, a full benchmark. Alright, there we have it. The phone's hitting 5147 and uh, over there you see that's more than the HTC One X. And if you can see, maybe the One X performs better when it comes to CPU. But as far as memory, uh, input and output, uh, 2D goes, uh, the Galaxy S3 performs uh, way better. And with 3D it's almost equal. So now let's quickly run Antutu guys. Test and start test. So there we go guys, uh, we've got a total score of 12,035. So that's pretty decent, one of the best scores that I've seen on this benchmark, to benchmark app. So that's pretty much it for the review of the Galaxy S3 guys. This is one of the longest videos that I've ever made. Uh, you know, I've made over 100 videos to date and this is the one in which I've tried to cram in as much as possible because there's so much about this phone that I wanted to say and I hope I did a good job in conveying you know, my thoughts to you guys. Uh, this is the best phone that I've ever used and the only phone that comes even a little close to this is the One X and uh, uh, again you know this phone is literally amazing uh, it's really really fast like I've said many times in this review and the uh, battery life is amazing and the swap I mean the user replaceable battery the micro SD card the prop box storage uh, the smart features the, uh, the motion uh, motion controls uh, it's the I mean the camera it's just fantastic guys uh, I will, if you're in the market searching for a phone today and if you can afford it 
I would definitely suggest you to go ahead and pick an S3 up. Even if you even if you already own an own an S2 or a Galaxy Note, I would still suggest you guys to pick up this phone. The only reason for you to not pick up this phone would be if you own an HTC One X. If you already own own an HTC One X, uh, buying but paying money for the S3, you know, you'll have to think twice about doing it. Apart from the One X, if you own any other phone today. I would suggest that you go ahead and buy the S3 because it is the best phone around right now. So, uh, and in case you guys want to go ahead and order it, use my link in the description to Amazon, help me make a few bucks. So, uh, that's pretty much it guys. If you guys have any feedback for me, any comments on helping me improve making my videos, leave it in the comment section, hit me up on Facebook or Twitter or you can email me directly. All my contact details are in the description. Uh, and I will be coming out with more videos, you know, comparisons with the One X, benchmark comparisons, camera comparisons, uh, and whatever. If you have any ideas on what videos you want me to make, leave it in the comment section again, or on Facebook or Twitter, and I will try to make it. Uh, so, uh, that's pretty much it, guys. Uh, thanks a lot for sticking through four parts of this review. Uh, thanks for watching, I guess. Uh, make sure you hit the like and subscribe buttons before you go, and share this video if you can, guys. Uh, once again, you guys have a great day. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye for now.